Hi, welcome back to lesson 8. Now in this lesson I'm going to show you how to select um, some states or turning on one or two states without having to write complicated expressions for every single state that you want to turn on. Um, to do this, it's quite simple, um, but first thing I need to do, as with the points layer previously, is to turn off the query for this state polygon layer so that we can make it editable. Okay, so I'm just going to query, I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so now that's obviously turned the whole lot on, every single state in the world. So in order to turn on just the ones we're interested in, we need to go to our attribute table, click our edit button, and I'm just going to scroll over and click on the admin column. Basically that sorts all of the spreadsheet by the admin and I want to go down to Iraq. So let's scroll down to Iraq. It's quite a long table this one so it's quite easy to scroll past it. <laughs> so Iraq, here we are. So what I want to do is add another column into this. So it's basically a bespoke column that we only we are using. Um, so I'm going to do that by clicking this button here, new column. So you click on that and I'm going to call So basically I'm saying this is a subject that I want to show. Now you need to change the type to text because we're going to be writing some text in it. And I tend to set the width to 10. The width basically means how many characters you can write. Um, 10 is enough because we're only going to be writing things like yes in it. Um, so hit OK and you'll see it's added another column on the end there. So I'm just going to pick a random state. All of these ones that say Iraq here are states inside Iraq. So I'm just going to click a random one and type in yes in the is subject. Hit enter and save. Okay, so now what we can do is write an expression that checks for the is subject column. So double click, go to style, simple fill, and change it to rule based. And double click like before, simple fill, again I want no border, and the fill is going to be my state fill color here. So OK that. And in the filter, like before, click on the fields and values, scroll down to our is subject column, double click, and load all unique. And it's just yes. Yeah, so equals yes. OK that. OK that, and apply. See what that has done now, it's turned everything off and it's just said, we said yes to turn this one on and there it has, it's turned it on. So we can OK that. So now if you want to add any more states in, all we simply have to do is click on our attribute table, scroll over to the right and click the edit button Scroll down to Iraq. Iraq. And we can type a yes in here. We can type in a yes in here. And so on. So we can turn whichever ones we want on simply by typing yes. We don't have to write does admin name equal Al Ambar, does admin name equal Erbil, that sort of thing. We can just type in yes, have a simple single expression that will now turn on every state that we wish. Save that, and now they should automatically have turned on. There we go. So that simply, you can turn on as many states as you want simply by writing the word yes in a column that we have created and told QGIS to look at. Now that is a much more efficient way of doing it than selecting individual state names.